Hey everybody, it's Rob from Flail Throughs, and this is Gundam Breaker. I finally broke down and bought a copy of it, because... Well, I really enjoyed the demo, and I wanted to actually get it at some point, and I had a little bit of money left over after I got myself uh, my 3DS XL and Monster Hunter Tri Ultimate, so I figured it was time. Also, to get my Circle Pad Pro and a couple other things quicker, I signed up for the Amazon Prime trial and I got this like 20 bucks ship, so yeah, good time. And I am a gym. Yeah, I can hear you. Okay, there's people here. This was not in the demo. Okay, well, the link's all green. That's good. Okay. Okay, something about a mission? Okay. Mission start. Let's mission. Okay, basic controls. Jump, boost... Step. Okay, I'm in close range mode. I think you only go into long range mode if there's something to target, so. And another info board. L1 and square. Ah, that's right. The long range, I think, is for that. Okay. Yep. Okay, that's easy enough to remember. And now... And now we shoot. Okay, that's one. That's two. Okay. Is this a new info board? Right stick is camera. Okay, R3 is lock on. L3, I think, centers the camera bolt uh, behind you. Yeah, and that adjusts the angle. Yeah. L3 centers the camera behind you, and R3 locks on to an enemy. And I should be holding L, so I can shoot from, ra from range. Ah, I can also adjust that. Okay, a little bit, a little touch of Dynasty Warriors here. Nothing wrong with that. Okay, time to move to the next area. Of course, there would be music, but I turned it off for YouTube, so... Let's see... Ah, uh, yeah. Use the uh, D-pad to change between your option parts. I have repair items, a head Vulcans, and an extra strong beam saber slash, which I'm gonna try. That's not bad. Nice juggle ability there. Don't think I picked up any new kit parts yet. I'd like to, but more enemies coming okay yeah I know you can also set it to auto toggle between close and long range mode which I might do because that's how it worked in the demo but read this again option repair kit option okay new enemies and
Let's see. I have, it looks like 30 uses of the small repair kit, which for a gym is not a bad thing to have. Nice break. Okay, well. Now, let's get up to that container. I don't think I need what's inside, but I'll take it. Okay. Head. Lock on. Yeah, this is what happens if you lose your various body parts. And I know there's a, pl a way to recall them, but I can never remember what it is. So, I think it's L1 and X, but... We'll find out, probably the hard way. Let's go back to that beam saber, shall we? I'm not sure what button lets me use my shield. Okay, it's R. Now I'm uh, sure what button lets me use my shield. And now we move on. Okay. But yeah, like I said, been wanting this. Went for it. Glad I got it. If it's as much fun as the demo, I should be, I should really be enjoying this. Okay, oh, I need to go read the board. Okay, this one. R1. Recapture beam. Okay, yeah, R1 must be what, uh launches my uh, recovery beam. Ooh, that Zaku's fancy looking. I think I need to go kill it. Except my auto-target decided to go back to this group, which is not the bad news. Okay, body part lost. Yeah, I think when it's not... There it is. Part recovered. Okay. There. Health is good. New thing to read. Uh, shield guard. Yeah, I know how to do that, so. Where's my lost body part? Back here. Okay. Okay. Yeah, there. Need wanted to break off my. There we go. Okay. That's done. Next. Oh, hi. Oh, that's a Zaku S type. Yeah, the target lock and I are not going to be close friends, but that's normal. Seriously, if you are making a video game with a target lock, I would like to suggest to you, study the target lock in Gundam Federation vs. Zeon and that series of games, because it is the most functional target lock I think they've ever done. Because for one thing, you stay target locked until you tell it to move or remove the target lock other than by moving the camera. Okay, you keep talking, guy. I don't know what you're saying. Matter of fact, let's just cut this all off, because I don't need it. So, moving on. Mission complete. Halfway to level two. EX Actions Mirage Shot. Okay. And 1900 GP. That works. Now, I believe this will probably take me back to the hangar. 
I'm thinking. Yep, here we are. Okay, Gaius. Uh, I guess Gaius is probably the organization they're part of. And here's our operator, who is, of course, adorable, because that's, you know, required. Mission counter. Yeah, that's that. And that's the mobile suit hangar. Got you there. Uh-huh. Okay. Okay, VR people, just leave me with this, you know, with this facility on my own, but really happy to learn there's going to be a new uh, season of Gundam Build Fighters this fall. It's funny, they said they didn't have any plans for it to come back that soon, but it must have done really well for them because it's coming back. Okay, didn't want to leave. Um, set up menus. Okay, I guess it's not letting me actually go to any of the menus because I don't have any new parts yet, so that's probably that. That being the case, it's time to take a mission. And despite what it tells you, just so you know, it does... It's, uh... Okay, square to launch. It is reversing the controls on an American PS3 so that X is select and circle is cancel. So anytime you see one of those buttons on screen, swap it. Oh, spider web on my uh, microphone. That's not good. And we're ready to launch. Yeah, this is the HD Universal Century Gym, all right, because it has the animation style backpack with the very small thrusters that are barely adjustable at all. And I really do like this uh, this uh, loading screen where the buttons light up when you push them. I know it's a dumb thing, but it's neat. Okay, I've got help. Whatever you say. Okay, mission start. What's next? Okay, there's that guy behind me. Let's read this. Ah, EX actions, of course. Yep, Mirage shot, so... Let's use that. Nice. A whole bunch of char types. Okay. And yes, if you are not aware, the premise of this game is that these are not mobile suits I'm actually fighting. These are model kits. This is the probably the HD Universal Century Zaku 2S type that I am dealing with. Okay, yeah, I just got a Char Zaku head. And now, Mirage shot him right in the face. I wonder if there's a way to turn target lock off entirely in the, uh... Oh, I'm about to die. That's not good. Let me get away. That's slightly better. Okay, model kit part is... Z a Zaku 2 arm. Okay, before we move to the next area, I'm going up here and getting my uh, recovery item. There we go. Moving on. Good fast boost. I always like that. And on to the next area. Yeah, very similar to the demo so far, so I'm fine with that. It was a good demo. You know it's a good demo when you keep picking it up and playing it. So, let me tell you, since it is relevant to this game, since you're putting together your own custom model kits and things, a story of the ancient Gundam fandom. There was, and in certain circles I think still is, a thing called Franken-Gundams, where you would take 
mobile suit designs and, you know, line art for mobile suits and combine them to make new designs. Now, the thing... Most of the, most of the art used in Franken Gundams in, back in the early 2000s all came from Gundam Project, the website by Mark Simmons, who is, was and basically is the most knowledgeable person about Gundam in the U.S. Because, ah, there's, where's my arm, where's my arm, I kind of need my, ah, I got it. Because on Gundam Project, he did line art for just about every mobile suit he could think of to do line art for. And he has since uh, become a professional comic artist, too, so... Really nice guy. One of the... You know, there's always that one nice guy in, in any fandom, if you're lucky. And he is he was the one for Gundam fandom that, you know, made things fun and interesting. Okay, yes. Gunpla Runners. Okay. But, yeah, and he did all this line art that people like to combine into... Uh, New mobile suits. They used official line art for it too sometimes, but since he was did good clear art, made it available to everyone, and was consistent, he was the best way to mix and match designs. But I still remember one of the most bizarre controversies I ever had on a controversy prone Gundam fan site I was part of was people arguing as to whether or not Franken Gundams counted as art. As far as I'm concerned, they do. Because you know, I don't... I'm not one of those people who likes to say something is or isn't art. It bothers me. Ooh. Doms are kind of tough so far. Gotcha. And there's... Ah! A dom body. Good. But yeah, so that was one of the sillier controversies in a, like I said, in a long line of silly controversies that Gundam fan sites tend to accrue. Okay. That is a large, oh, that's a Master Grade Zaku. So yeah, it's going to be slightly bigger than any of us. So, also, if I can keep it broken to pieces, we'll be in good shape. But yeah, even though the game is built around the concept of model kit customizing, I have to admit, it reminds me more of the old Franken Gundams. Okay, I just got a lot of HG weapons, some beam sabers, heat hawks. All sorts of fun stuff. So, what next? Is the stage over? I think it may be. Yes, mission complete. I'm going to heal myself before we go, just because. And I got a trophy, which... does me a lot of good in Japanese. Let's see... We have leveled up to level 2, and that's as far as we're going in terms of leveling this time, but learned the armor repair EX action, yeah, that'll be important, and the heroic finish, which no idea what that is or how it works, but let's see, each of these costs 500 GP to do, we can do five of them, okay, Zaku Bazooka, um, let's see. Let's do the foot with the missile pods. Was that the wrong button? I think it was. Um. No, no, no. I think I just deleted all those parts. Because I hit the wrong buttons. Arg! Okay, and now we get the actual intro to the game, which I guess I'll watch. But yes, Arg. Since the uh, ah yeah, Odaiba City, the Gundam, 
I'm assuming this is rendering and not the and, and not actual photography. But well, yes, since the white base is there. Okay, well, I didn't g catch any of that, but And of course I have the music turned down, which I, it seems to uh, get rid of the uh, dialogue for this part, too. Something about the Gundam Great Front. Yes, yeah, so I think the plot of the game is that you're putting together better and better model kits so you can go take on the uh, life-size Gundam in Odaiba. As much of the, uh, this as has a plot, but... Okay, since we can't hear what she's saying and I'm just sitting here staring at pictures and words I don't understand, we're just going to skip this. I'm sure there's a way to view it again. And here we are to the actual title screen. Let's go to set up your gunpla and see if I'm wrong and I actually got to keep all those parts. Hearts build. Oh, thank goodness. Okay. So triangle is take all, and since I had space, I'll take all.